Hello, I'm Johnny Binder, General Curator of Cameron Park Zoo. Kids that visit our zoo love the enrichment that this playground provides. Today, I would like to welcome you to the exciting world of animal enrichment, a process of providing a stimulating environment for each and every species housed at this facility. Animal enrichment plays a vital role in the physical and psychological well-being of all of our Cameron Park Zoo animals. The zookeepers are going to show you some of our colorful residents and illustrate how and why we provide animal enrichment. So join me as we step into the wild. Although zoo animals serve as ambassadors for their counterparts in the wild, they actually lead a very different existence. In the wild, animals spend the majority of their time just simply trying to survive, where in zoos, the animals have every need met for them. They have a safe place to live, they can sleep without fear of predators, they get nutritious meals delivered on a regular basis, yet with all of this security often comes boredom. And boredom can create different health and behavioral problems. That's where animal enrichment comes in. It's a crucial part of captive animal management. Enrichment is defined as any activity or diversion that increases the activity levels of an animal or alters its behavior. At Cameron Park Zoo, it's a very important part of our care and husbandry program. Our goal is to create the best life experience possible for our animals, and so the keepers spend a lot of time continually improving our enrichment program and developing activities and devices that physically and men mentally stimulate the animals. Normally when we are developing enrichment programs for the animals, we look into what their natural history is and what natural behaviors they would exhibit in the wild, such as our carnivores. With carnivores, they would they would spend a lot of their day sleeping, but they are, for the most part, ambush predators. So we'll try to do things like maybe putting new logs in their exhibit, possibly introducing boomer balls, which they can grab, chase, slap around, and uh, utilize their claws and teeth in ambushing and taking down the prey, so to speak. One way animal care specialists provide stimulation is by making feeding time exciting for the animals. Foods are presented in unusual containers, and animals are encouraged to explore and problem solve, making mealtime more fun for the animals and for the zookeepers and guests. Animal enrichment is not just for the animals. The keepers really enjoy giving the animals new and novel items to destroy or enjoy at the zoo. For example, our bison on enrichment day were given a large paper mache item that we had created using balloons, newspaper, water, and flour. This provided the bison a new way to enjoy the produce and hay that they are given daily. Instead of just placing a hay bale on exhibit, the hay was placed inside the paper mache item and they were encouraged to rip it open and have the hay fall out so they could enjoy it. Animal enrichment activities help prevent boredom, which can lead to negative or destructive animal behaviors. Zookeepers provide varied experiences designed to promote behaviors that mimic what the species would normally do in the wild. My name is Carolyn and today we're putting out some enrichment here in the South American exhibit. We have a lot of different animals in here so we try to vary the enrichment. Uh, primarily we try to keep our birds happy uh, since they have a good life here at the zoo. They get their food without too much trouble and most of their day would be spent foraging for food. So as a result, if we don't keep them busy or occupied with something else, they could spend some of their time doing more destructive behaviors such as tearing up items in the exhibit or pulling feathers on themselves and hurting themselves. So that's a lot of what our enrichment is for, is to keep them busy, keep them occupied, and keep them uh, doing some of the activities that they would normally be doing in the wild. So today I'm going to show you how uh, we use enrichment to help out some of our uh, animals in here. This is a mixed ex species exhibit. We have both birds and mammals in here. So we'll be putting out some toys for the monkeys as well. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you how we feed out our fish for our turns. You may think it's hard to do enrichment for a bird that does nothing but eat fish, but actually you can uh, make things interesting for them based on how you feed them. 
So we'll show you how we uh, feed in the pool so they can scramble after the fish much like they do in the wild. And then also the ibis love fish and so we throw a few over on the side for them just kind of as a treat every day. And then uh, after that we'll put out a special toy that the monkeys will take apart for everyone and it has a whole bunch of treats inside, a little bit of different things, a little bit of something for everyone in the exhibit. The Cameron Park Zoo is dedicated to the well-being of every animal in its care and has an enrichment committee to help organize these programs, raise money, and communicate with enrichment committees at other zoos around the country. We do have uh, many various types of enrichment that we do for the animals, um, and it does vary from the type of animal and what they, sometimes what they can have or what they cannot have. Um, some of the enrichment that we do is um, there's different types. We do, there's food enrichment, which you can see like Jenny has here in the bamboo. And uh, sometimes the food enrichment brings out their natural behaviors, such as foraging, like she's doing on the fence. Um, we also have other things, such as um, sometimes we give them toys, um, for example, boomer balls with cats, um, things of that nature. Ultimately, the point of all the enrichment is to stimulate the animals. Um, because as, since they are in, in a zoo in captivity, what we want to do is keep them as much stimulated as possible um, so they enjoy their day-to-day -day activities. Here at Cameron Park Zoo, we try to give our animals daily enrichment to improve their quality of life. I participate by providing them enrichment, designing new enrichment for them. We document everything that we do for them to prevent them getting the same thing over and over again because that would make them get bored. Uh, we also make sure that everything that they're giving them is previously approved so that we're not giving them anything that's uh, dangerous to them or something that's not structurally sound for them. Uh, one of the things that we did this weekend for Maharani was giving her a burlap sack filled with different items. It was with bamboo and meat and we hung it on a bungee cord. Uh, giving her that stimulates natural behaviors. Having her smell her natural uh, meat item, jump up and grab it, um, actually got her to climb the tree, which we had never seen before. So it was a very good mental stimulation and physical stimulation for her. Several of our animals paint for us. Uh, the elephants in particular are very uh, good at it and they do enjoy it. You can see that they get excited by it. They come over to participate. Um, the orangs also have recently been getting painting training. They also enjoy it and you, we know that they enjoy it because if they didn't enjoy it, they could simply walk away and leave, but they stay and continue to paint for us. We do have other animals that paint but it's not um, as interactive. But with the orangs and the elephants, it's very interactive. And we use those paintings to um, promote the awareness of the species themselves and also to promote our enrichment program by helping to raise funding for them. Enrichment here at the Cameron Park Zoo Herbitarium is very beneficial to the animals because it helps in their well-being. It helps them explore their enclosure. And it offers them a variety of food supplements. When we were in the uh, BRC River exhibit, we fed the alligator snapping turtle fish. Now, on certain days, he'll be offered fish, and on other days, it'll be rodents. This is beneficial to the uh, snapping turtle because it gives them a varied diet, and it also allows them to move around the exhibit to actually look for its food. We also feed the uh, American alligator a variety of foods, too. They get offered smell, herring, rodents, and sometimes chicks. What's really neat about the American alligators is we're actually doing a training program with them. This allows the alligator to walk around the exhibit and come towards us. This is especially beneficial for the zookeepers because at an early age, if they can learn these training techniques, when they become larger, they'll be less aggressive, and this will really help when we have to do transport or vet procedures. Basically for Enrichment Day, um, what we do for Enrichment is we use different items to instill natural instincts within the animals. In our case with paddlefish, um, an instinctual response to uh, food hitting the water, of course, as they open their mouths, they sane through the water and skim through. 
Um, we do this uh, to show the public natural instincts, uh, such as their ability to find food, their ability to hunt for food, um, their, their senses, um, and as the public comes through, uh, we can talk to them about that, take questions, answer those questions um, about paddlefish in the wild, um, how we feed them here uh, versus what they would be going for in the wild. Um, also, uh, instinctual behaviors here in our aquarium uh, versus what they would do in the wild instinctually there. Uh, there are some differences once you put things into a, a, a non-natural environment, um, such as an aquarium uh, from the wild. A good way for the public to get involved with enrichment here at Cameron Park Zoo is by participating in our Giving Tree. The Giving Tree is located in the gift shop here on grounds at the zoo. The way to get involved is to pick an ornament which has a pictured item that the animals use for enrichment. For example, a boomer ball used by the lions and tigers. These items aren't always easily purchased here and it's helpful for the public to donate the money for the keepers to purchase them. If you're unable to come to the zoo, you can also log in to the Cameron Park Zoo website and purchase items via the Amazon website. There is a gift wish located on the website. You pick your item and purchase it directly there and the item is shipped to the zoo for the animals to enjoy. Today we're painting with the orangutans. A lot of our animals love to paint. And one of the ways that we have found that we can raise money for our enrichment program and other conservation efforts is by auctioning these paintings off. Today the animals are preparing for an art show in a real gallery downtown on Austin Avenue. The Croft Gallery has agreed to do an art showing called Fierce, and it's gonna be a collaboration of animal artwork as well as people artwork, and uh, some of the artists will actually paint with our animal artists, which is what Katie Croft is doing today. Um, it should be a really wonderful show, and we're really excited about it. So having an opportunity to paint with them and for them to meet new people, that's another form of enrichment. The Animal Enrichment Program is one of many important programs that the Cameron Park Zoo staff provides for the animal collection. And I think as you can see in this segment that the staff enjoys it just as much as the animals. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this segment of Step Into the Wild and please come out and visit your zoo soon. The Cameron Park Zoo in Waco is a member by invitation of the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums and is an accredited member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, a worldwide organization of more than 200 accredited members who are leaders in global wildlife conservation and assistance in helping animals in their native habitat. For more information, visit CameronParkZoo.com.